Hi folks, this is Ed Lanham, and this week we're going to take a little, another little walk with the wildlife. This week's feature animal is none other than the beaver. Many people have not seen a beaver in the wild, but uh, beavers are becoming pretty common here in Kentucky and even here in Marion and surrounding counties. The beaver, because it's so prized for its wonderful fur, uh, their numbers started getting pretty short back in the 1900s because of all the trapping and uh, fur trading that was going on. So finally some restoration projects began and their numbers have come back tremendously. The beaver is the largest rodent in North America. Now this one specimen we have here is a young beaver, probably only weighs about 20 pounds. But the beaver can get up to 80 pounds, which you can imagine an 80 pound dog just how big this, this would seem. Beavers spend their entire life in and around water. Uh, most of the time they are a nocturnal animal, which means they, they do most of their work at night. They have a lot of specialized features. Uh, of course, one of the most obvious is their tail. Beavers have a long tail from a foot long or, or better, made of uh, cartilage. This tail is used for several reasons. Uh, one is to slap the water when uh, there's a sense of danger. And the other is that when beaver are out getting their food, which is mainly trees, cutting on trees, they use this tail to stabilize their body while they're sitting on their hind legs gnawing on these trees and limbs. Other features that you'll notice of the beaver are their tiny hands. They do have five fingers like, uh, like a human does. Uh, the bottom feet, the back feet, are webbed and pretty broad so that they can swim through water easily. They have tiny eyes which when under water a film closes over their eyes. Also their nose and their ears can be closed while they're underwater, uh, which again helps them work. They, they can even uh, gnaw underwater if necessary. An adult beaver can live up to 20 years. They mate for life. Uh, usually at age three they go out and find a mate. Most of the time if you see a beaver colony, the colony consists of a mated pair of parents and the, the kits or babies from the past two years. Once they get over two, they're booted out and go off to find a mate and start their own colony. In the spring, usually April, May to June, a female beaver will have two to four kits. They usually weigh about a pound and grow very fast. These beavers, as they grow, you think, well, they're in this cold water during the wintertime, but they have a layer of fat underneath their fur, which really helps protect them and keeps them from getting too cold. Beavers can be found just about in any large stream or river here in Kentucky. Of course, their main food is the bark of trees. They eat the cambium layer off of trees and tree limbs. This particular limb was eaten by a beaver. You can see the gnawed marks on each end where it was separated from the rest of the tree limb. They eat that outside layer and pretty much leave the rest of it so lots of times, if you're out on a lake or a stream, you'll see these beaver-eating sticks and logs on the banks and floating in the water. We've always heard the expression, busy as a beaver. Well, there's a reason for that. Beavers are very, very much workaholics. They'll pick out a spot on a stream or river, decide to build a dam or a colony and they'll work relentlessly until they get this dam built and it backs and holds the water. We call them engineers. They are very smart engineers. The only problem, sometimes the streams and rivers that they choose, they just can't hold back the water after a severe rain or, or flood. They do pretty good as long as the stream stays stable, but once we get two or three inches of rain, a lot of times those dams, even as, as good as they're built, out of the sticks 
stones, mud, weeds, corn stalks, uh, their, their water, it's just too much for a lot of these dams. So it'll wash out and they'll move on and try another location. Some of the beaver's favorite trees include beech, birch, willow, hackberry, box elder, poplar, uh, and other trees that tend to grow around water type areas. Another thing, beavers also have glands in which they secrete oil and they'll take their hind feet and spread this oil throughout their fur and that keeps the fur to where it repels water and uh, the water doesn't get into the, the fur and make them cold along with that fat layer that, that they have. As neat and interesting as beavers are, in many areas they are a problem. Besides the lodges and dams that they build, often beavers will burrow into the banks of lakes and, and if it's a private lake, they can actually burrow enough that they can cause the lake to start draining. So at times like this, that's a very big problem. And, um, you know, sometimes beaver have to be either trapped and removed or destroyed because of these reasons. The second problem that they cause is their dams often flood areas, especially cropland, that farmers don't want to be underwater. So in those situations, again, beavers are either trapped and, and removed or encouraged to leave or often uh, have to be killed. The third problem is, is the trees that they eat. Most animals could not live off of a substance such as a tree at very low protein. It's hard to digest. But beavers have a specialized digestive system which allows them to digest this bark and use it wisely and put on the, the nutrients and the fat layers that they need. But when you're in an area where you don't want the trees cut, um, they're pretty much going to take them out if they're within range of, of their colony. So all you'll find left is about a foot and a half tall stump where they've chewed it off and sometimes these stumps sprout back out but most of the time the, the damage kills the trees. We're going to take a closer up look at this beaver and some of these features we just discussed and then we're going to go out on some, some areas, some rivers and some streams and look at some beaver habitat and some of the damage that they've done and uh, some of the swamps and areas that they have created. As we mentioned earlier, you see the tiny hands and the fingers. Beaver, they also have sharp claws on these. These are used in order to hold branches while they're, they're eating the bark off of them. Uh, beaver also eat corn stalks and uh, any kind of plant material that uh, is accessible to them and that they can, can find to eat. Then you see the webbed feet, large claws. Uh, these beaver use these big feet to, to stand up and gnaw on the trees as well as to swim through the water. And then you see this, this tail. Uh, the tail is anywhere from a foot and longer depending on the age of the beaver and it also is usually six to eight inches wide um, again used to slap the water to warn in case of danger and to balance the beaver when it's in an upright position when beavers stand up they can be as tall as four feet tall which is a really large animal the fur is very soft very thick and you can see why uh, the fur industry would want an animal like this. They make, they make beautiful coats and other things. And like I said, their numbers have come back tremendously here in Kentucky. So there is a season on beavers. It's in the fall during the regular uh, trapping season. And uh, usually several hundred are trapped each year here in Kentucky. Since their numbers are up so much, they are not uh, endangered in any way. Now that you know a little more about the beaver, his physical characteristics, and his uh, habitat, let's go out in the wild and take a walk with the beaver. <laughs>